Today we have Titans Returns Autobot Blaster. This is the rename of Sound Blaster. And this is a leader class figure. Uh, let's take a look at the box. And there you have it. He transforms into a base, a boom box. Yeah, his head comes off and can put on go on to the other figures. Here's a quick read of the text there. All right, let's get this opened. Here we have Blaster, and it comes with this cassette, this laser pistol thing, uh, this uh, collector's card, and his stats there. You can check that out. And, of course, the instructions. It's a big page of instructions there. All right, let's take a closer look at Blaster. You can open him up, stick in this cartridge, and close him up. His gun can fit into his fist. There you go. Pow, pow, pow. You can also store it on his back. Great, let's take a look at his helmet. Wow, it looks pretty good. Lots of little details everywhere. Has two little speakers on his legs. Has some folded speakers on the back of his legs. He does have some empty pinholes on his back for some reason. Let's check out his articulation. Let's take a look at his head does turn 360 but does not go up and down. Only his helmet goes up and down. His arms go all the way around. Goes up to the side. 90 degrees at the elbow. His fist can go in and out. No twisting on the, el on the wrists. Uh, no waist joint. His legs go all the way out. 90 degrees. Forward uh, slightly about 60-ish. Forward and back. Twist at the thighs, knees at 90, has a th uh, working thigh swivel, no knee swivels. His ankles can pivot in and out, and forward and back, which is awesome. Alright. Alright, let's look at his Titan Master Twin Cast. That's his head there. Looks pretty neat. It's really tiny. Let's open him up. He just unfolds at the legs, and there you go. He looks like a really tiny version of Sound Blaster. His arms go up 90 degrees. His legs go forward and can bend down at the knees. His head does turn all the way around, which is pretty neat. And he stands right there. All right. Let's take a closer look at this cassette thing. This looks like an MP3 player of some sort. Pistol it does fit right into this hole. And this Titan Master can sit in it. So you just put them in just like so and there you go. It's some sort of hovercraft vehicle. Why would you need to fit a mp3 player into a boombox? I will never know. Now this is what everybody wants to see is a size comparison. Here is Masterpiece Soundwave. And he looks great. Looks almost the exactly the same size. Looks like a good uh good comparison there, good size wise. They look absolutely fantastic together. Here he is next to MP01. Leader Megatron, a, a deluxe, a three and a half inch figure, some vehicles, 
just to round it out. All right, next, let's transform them. And there you have it. It's a boom box. A really odd looking boom box. It's in a, this off gray color. It's kind of strange. It's not silver. It's not white. Oh, I forgot to tab in the back here. Hold on. You can still see Blaster's butt sticking out of the back. And you can open it up, put in the cassette thing. There he goes. The Titan Master. Uh, can sit on these little pegs here. There's one peg on top. His head can go in. And now your boombox has a head. Okay, size comparison. It's about the same size as Soundwave, except that a boombox is completely out of scale. It looks way too small. That sound wave, sound wave is one to one scale. There's a comparison between all the other vehicles. And there is Optimus Prime there. Using it as a boombox. It is way too big, even for MP01. Let's turn him into a base. Here is the base. It's kind of goofy looking. It doesn't look like much. Uh, the Titan Master sits right behind the screen there, and he can aim his cannon with a targeting reticule there. Pow, pow, pow. He slides around, doesn't really f stick. He can be placed on these little pegs on the platforms. Um, there's some cannons on top. Lots of robo junk. It doesn't look like much. I guess because they're robots. They don't really care. Uh, some nice danger decals to put on there. The gun part doesn't really shoot straight. As it kind of goes down low enough. The big cannon on top just sticks right on top there and does not move up and down. You can tilt it. A little bit. This is a great figure to go with your Masterpiece Soundwave, but the base mode is pretty useless. If you like this video, please subscribe. That's it for now. See you next time.